Trump became the nominee, what does that mean? That means that out of all the other possible people, he was e either legitimately the best choice, <laughs> and everybody voted smart, or he, let's just take it to the other extreme, he's one of the worst possible choices, but everyone still voted for him. Everyone still said, I agree enough with what he's saying, or he's, he's at least he's addressing my fears enough, pushing those buttons enough to where I'm going to vote for that guy. The other people weren't. They weren't taking it to the highest, to, to the, they weren't matching the level of anger in the, in the Republican Party, people voting for whoever the nominee might be. They weren't matching the level of anger that everyone else had. Trump was. Trump was acting like he's furious. He's crazy furious. You know, he's mad insane, not just mad angry. But the point is, everyone relates to only mad angry. I mean, uh, yeah, they don't, they don't relate to the insane part. They just relate to, yeah, he's angry like me, and that's good. because I mean, I, I understand that. You know, I, I read what he's saying. I agree with that kind of thing. Which is pretty amazing. But I kind of understand it. I mean, everyone's upset. That, that's why everyone's upset with this whole thing. It's not just dumb and dumber choices anymore, you know, it's like truly someone who could fuck up everything and someone else who could also fuck up everything and, and has been participating in fucking up things. You know, neither one of them is, is talking about smaller government. Neither one of them is saying roll back taxes. Nothing serious is being discussed. It's really a pathetic joke that the uh, Republicans acted like they didn't know what was happening with Trump. It's been the last 50, 100 years telling everybody about all this, everything to be scared of, terrified of, all kinds of excuses to vote for them out of fear, 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 fear. And then when one asshole shows up who understands, you know, how to talk about fear and insecurity constantly, because he is full of that, then they, they're baffled by it when people follow his lead, because, you know, even though they've been programming everybody all along the whole time to think like this. And w what an example of not only how shitty the Republican Party is doing to have him as their best representative, the one every one of them chose, or the majority chose, but all these politicians like Ryan and all these other idiots who flip-flop back and forth, completely spineless, our country's in, 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 in crisis, and these idiots are just like... It's pathetic. It's truly pathetic, these politicians. Total bunch of gutless cowards. Zero principles. Disgusting is what they are. Flat out disgusting. Zero thoughts for the health of the country or what's going on. The, pri the country is the last priority. The citizenship is the last priority. They're voted by the citizens and that's the last priority. And they really don't care about them at all. All they care about is themselves and their corporate masters. Revolting. Barely human. Practically 100% lizard and insect mentality. Now what I was going to talk about is T. Rump, the whole phenomenon about him. What does it mean to uh, about me? What is it? What is his, you know, nomination? And now he's the, uh, almost going to be the president practically. I mean, you know, all this kind of stuff. 
that we were talking about. Because right now it's the uh, beginning of November. I think it's like five days, four days away from uh, the election day. And the polls are basically even, essentially. At least that's what um, the bullshit Fox News likes to portray. Which probably makes me feel like, actually, they're not that even. But, you know, Fox will lie as much as possible. They can't say he's winning by a landslide because that's totally wrong. No one's going to believe that. But, you know, the, the idiots who watch this Fox Entertainment News type of thing, it's not really news. Those are just entertain. These are, these are TV shows. These aren't news programs. Vampira. Um, then even they're not going to fall for, you know, a complete a lie. But they, they, they can bend it a little bit and uh, get him closer to Clinton. Although, that's not really doing her... Uh, I'm, I mean, I'm not trying to say she's actually doing great. I, that's what I'm saying about what is it... Uh, they're both of them being in the situation. What does that say about the, the voters and the U.S. in general and stuff like that? Because I think that these two people uh, are basically just symptoms of a big, much bigger problem their evidence that there's a huge problem going on uh, with the country. That's the only reason that they're, that justifies why they're there, why they're, you know, the two choices, basically, for who's going to be president for the next four years. It's not because either one of them are great, that's for sure. I think we can all agree neither one are great. So wh why are they even options. Why would the U.S., supposedly the biggest, powerful, most badass, you know, kick-ass country in the world with all our freedoms and, and etc., why do we have such shitty choices as far as being, you know, the president and representatives of us as world, in the world? Think about that. How, how did it come to be where the United States the best that the United States can produce is these two people. That <laughs> just about everybody in the United States agrees they're both terrible choices. <laughs> you know, on average, most people don't aren't happy with what's going on. I know I'm not. I really resent the way the media and these two people allow the whole uh, presidential campaign and you know, choosing a new president for the United States of America, it's become a fucking TV show. Which is probably why, one of the reasons why Trump is doing so good, because it's so TV show media oriented, sensationalism oriented, high, high drama oriented bullshit, you know, reality TV show oriented. That's literally what it's become. It's become, a, the presidential race has become a reality TV show. So, in a way, on that level alone, it's not surprising that Trump is doing good because that's what he does. He's a game show host, you know. Among all his other things, he's, he's basically a game show host. That's one of his big deals now, in the TV show. And so he, he kind of knows that, that field, you know. That's his game. He, he knows enough about that to do good. He knows how to get the ratings up, he could say. That's really what he's doing. He just whatever he does, he's just getting the ratings up, keeping them up. Something goes down, he lets it go down a little bit, and then he does something else or says something else to get get the ratings back up, get more attention. Even if it's negative attention, it's still better than no attention. You can see that because look at all the other also rants. You know the other people, the other Republicans, let's say, didn't have enough drama in their campaign, basically. So people lost interest and they faded away. Now, what I find uh, super absurd and silly from the Republican Party is, number one, to focus more on Trump now is that they thought that Trump was the best 
or, or you know, the Trump is the best they have to offer. Of all the possible nominees, Trump was the one that was the best for them. That's what the Republican Party is, is officially saying. I'm not sure that's the that's really what's going on, but that's what officially the story is because he's a nominee. You know, what are all the backroom political shenanigans between the people who really have power? What's going on with them? I don't know. Somehow, him somehow the U.S. having the weakest, most corrupt leadership is good for them, obviously, because then they get stay in power. But that's a whole nother block. <laughs> it's a whole nother story. Um, because that's what's been basically happening for the last, you know, 50 years, 100 years. It's just been getting worse and worse and worse and worse. And, you know, here we are, 2016, and this is so far the worst. What is 2020 going to look like? Well, it'll probably look a little worse. <laughs> you know, another step down. What they're trying to project is that he's obviously an easily, you know, persuaded person by... He respects absolute power. He's not interested really in democracy. He, 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 that's all he really respects. That's why he's always sent, uh, complimenting and uh, going on about how great some of these dictators are. Because he's saying, but see, absolute power, you know, took care of some of these problems without mentioning that, oh yeah, but the same type of tool power uh, without any restraint is also what you know keeps so much else of the of, the, of those other countries down he doesn't mention all that he doesn't even try to recognize that that's an issue they all think that I'll have absolute power and then I won't be a dick <laughs> that's probably what they all think well, I wouldn't uh, be surprised if uh, Putin even thinks you know but I'm not a jerk about it <laughs> you know that kind of thing Hussein, yeah, he was a bastard. Stalin, oh yeah, sure. You know, I have absolute power, but I'm nice. That's what Putin thinks. And that's exactly what uh, T. Rump thinks. The same goes for everybody else. You know, Clinton, Hillary Clinton, and uh, Bush Jr. He was another big loser. He couldn't even fucking read it. He could barely speak English. To find out loud. It's, it's fucking ridiculous. And those are the choices we have, you know. Again, like I said, that's just a symptom of a much, much bigger problem. Because it's obviously a bigger problem because it can happen. It wasn't like we picked one loser, uh, somehow we got confused, oops, sorry, we fumbled the ball there. But then uh, before him and after him or her, after that, you know, person, then it was fine again. Then we started picking smart people who care about the country. No. It's just been continually worse and worse and worse and worse. Uh, another big uh, thing that uh, Trump highlights, or well, the whole race highlights how both parties, Democrat and Republican, really don't give a fuck about the country. They really, really don't. Uh, which goes back to my first point, which was, this is the best you can produce? These are the best choices? I have a hard time believing that the media and all that, all those people, really think that Bernie Sanders was a better choice. I mean, right now, I'm positive anybody who's involved in, in the race is thinking, if, if they don't like Trump, is thinking, um, you know, why can't we get Bernie Sanders back in somehow? Because we know he would beat Trump by a mile. Which is how it should be. Whoever's against Trump, it shouldn't be a close race. <laughs> it's like, you know, let's say Stalin or Hitler. I don't know. It's kind of a toss up on how, you know, which one's the least bad is not how to determine which one's the most good. Basically, they're both terrible. So, you know, in spite of all the bullshit, this is really the fault of the of the citizens, in a way, for allowing themselves to be so lazy and keep thinking, well, someone else is going to take care of it. Someone else is going to clean up the mess. But then we hire in the, 
you know, the people we, we vote in, I mean, to clean up the mess are just making more of a mess. It's not like they really give a shit. They're there to make their money, too. That's all they want to do. So I just voted. And there's actually quite a bit of drama in there. One of the uh, one of the people who worked there apparently had to connect with somebody else who was voting. And he kept saying, you know, I can't believe you reported me. You reported me to police and I went to jail. I went to jail. He was all upset about it. He looked like a reasonable person. Had a dog. He was walking his dog while he was going to vote. But he sure didn't sound too reasonable. He sounded pretty upset. Yelling and screaming in there. And it was in a gym, so it's very echoey and loud. And the woman behind me is saying, I thought I did something else was going to happen. And like I keep saying in all my videos now, focus where you want to go. If you want something good to happen, you got to start investing in some good thoughts. You know, focusing on bad, focusing on drama. That's what you produce. That's what we have been producing. And I was just thinking, I said, of all, you know, the elections, look at this, it's already so divisive. And even at the voting place, there's some super angry person. Not about the voting. Just blowing up in general. Everyone's got problems, you know. We need way more education, that's all there is to it, you know. Way too many people don't know what the hell they're doing, what's going on, what's important. Anyway. Good luck to us all. And I'll see you on the flip side. Shadow. I was like, who's that? <laughs> right next to me. <laughs> That's hilarious.